Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Um, I do have to apologize. It's been a really long time since I posted a video, but you know how it is. Things happen, life gets in the way, and something gets pushed to the side. So I want to get back into that. I want to start making some more videos and you know showing you the cool things that I'm doing. Maybe you don't think they're cool, but I think they're cool. I think it's fun. So kind of give you an idea of what's been going on around here lately. First off, I built a new ramp to get into my shed with, um, with the motorcycles and stuff which was super important because, see, I got this new bike. This is a 1984 Honda Shadow uh, 700cc motorcycle. Um, nice road bike. I really enjoy this bike. It's fun to ride. It's a good bike. Um, but it's way too heavy to try and muscle it through that doorway without a ramp. So I had to get the ramp built. Um, maybe you'll see some videos with that sometime. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But... Uh, Anyway, in the meantime, another thing that happens, I went riding um, with a couple other people, and I crashed on this bike. This is my 2009 Q-Link XF200. Um, really, it's a decent bike. Um, it's Chinese, Chinese built, um, China Moto. Um, when I crashed it, broke a few things off. I broke the fender off here. Um, there's no, no fender. You can see the back part of it in there, but it doesn't doesn't come over the tire anymore. So, so I broke that off. I um, also broke off my fork shield on this side and uh, bent my brake lever. So that's harder to use now. Um, so I ordered up some new parts, uh, went on Q-Link's website, ordered the parts I needed, and they they were willing to send them out for me, which is nice. Um, there's a dealer down in Texas, a uh, Q-Link dealer. Um, and after I placed my order, they called me up and they're like, Hey man, we got this issue. You ordered a orange fender for an XF200. And I'm like, yep, that's right. He goes, okay, I don't have any more of the orange fenders. Ah, oh, bummer. That sucks. He's like, I got a different color. So we could get a different color for you, or you could wait until I get the orange ones in, which might be a couple weeks, might be longer. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get a different color. And uh, he was nice enough to to knock some money off the price for me. So instead of a $45 fender, I got a fender for 20 bucks. It's silver. It doesn't match the bike, which is kind of a bummer for me. Uh, it doesn't match, but you know what? It'll function just the same. I think it'll be just fine. So um, let's go ahead and start putting some parts on this bike and we'll see what we can do with it. Alright, first things first, I want to get this bike on some kind of a center stand. Okay, we're set. We're on the center stand, which I'm using a old crate for my center stand. And uh, now we're good to go. Start tearing off these old broken bits and put on some shiny new bits. So first I want to start with this brake lever because that's going to be the easiest I think. That's as simple as taking this nut off the bottom. This guy right here. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. I'm going to take that nut off. Pull the screw out of the top. Pop a new handle in there and then put it back. Put the screw back in. Okay, now your 10 millimeter Harbor Freight wrench should pull that right off of there, no problem at all. There's the nut. Okay, flathead screwdriver pulls that screw out of the top. Okay, screws out. There's your brake handle. Now, a lot of people will probably say you can probably just bend this back into shape. And yeah, maybe I might be able to bend it back into shape. But a lot of times, these aluminum parts, once they're bent, you try and bend them back. Most of the time they just break. So it's easier just to put a new one on. Alright, I got my new brake lever in there. It's as simple as just put that lever back in the slot where it came out, put the screw back in, 
which the screw doesn't need to be super tight because the nut on the bottom is what holds that screw in so it can't come out. So that lever's in there. It looks nice. It's shiny. It's new. It feels good. On to the next part. All right, the next little bit I'm going to do is going to be this fender on the front, which it looks like it's just four bolts in there. Pull those out. Put the new one in. Put the bolts back in. We're good. All right, now for this, I'm going to be using my beautiful purple Harbor Freight socket and a Harbor Freight ratchet. If you don't like Harbor Freight tools, well, you're missing out because they actually do make some pretty decent stuff. It may not be Snap-on or Cornwell or Mac or any of those guys, but you know what? It gets the job done, and it was dirt cheap, so I don't mind. So I'm just going to take these uh, take these bolts loose here. It's really nice of the sun to grace us with his presence. It's starting to be nice out here. It's actually it's actually been really nice all day. We just had a little bit of cloud cover, and uh, it was actually nice to have a little bit of cool air with that cloud cover so these bolts are loose pull them out get this old busted fender off put the new one in all right here's my fender nice shiny silver get it in there doesn't look too bad right I'll just tell everybody it's chrome off-road chrome okay so the nice thing about this fender is that it's actually not solid mounted it's got these little rubber grommets these little guys little rubber grommets that go in place it's got these little metal inserts that go inside the grommets so uh, that fender is actually not solid mounted it's got a nice rubber bushing in there you know that really doesn't look too bad on there other than the contrast of silver against orange my nice off-road chrome front fender I don't know maybe I'll start a new trend before you know it everyone will have off-road chrome so with this new fork shield on this side of the bike, part of the attachment for that is up here at the top of where the fork shield should be. There's this little collar that goes around, goes around that fork there. And that gives support for that fork shield up at the top of it. Okay, all finished. She's looking good. Got that new fork shield sitting on there. It's looking good. Um, off color fender. But you know what? I think that's fine. It'll be okay. Um, then, of course, that new brake lever. Everything's good there. Nice and... I think the brake feels good. So, yeah, hey, I think we're all set. I think we're ready to ride. Um, back on the trail again. So, if you liked today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, until next time, hey, man, take it easy.